whoa, grind until I get a meal. All I want is dollar bills, stack it higher than some hills. Messing with my cake, probably get you killed. What's going on, y'all? It's Mike. I'm back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to NBA Warning Sign. <coughs> Golly. NBA Warning Sign. <coughs> Coronavirus. Coronavirus. I swear to God, I'm okay. NBA Warning Signs that were right in front of us the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> we, we just gonna see the signs. <laughs> we gonna see the signs. So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, of course, join the Stewart family, and click that bell so you don't miss any new videos. Follow my social medias and all that other stuff. And let's get this video no cap. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, y'all ready? Let get it. Let go. We all know that as adults, we don't really have much time to sit and relax for too long. People who have very busy lives tend to overlook certain things that was actually right in front of them this entire time. Whether it's someone trying to tell you something or just never really noticed a small detail on your screen uh -oh. that was essentially a warning sign for what was to come. Uh -oh. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a combination of predictions, coincidences, and examples of foreshadowing that might have went completely over your head. So let's get started. Uh oh, let's see. I'm sure by now we've all heard about how Pistol Pete Maravich strangely predicted his very own death during an interview there was no way even he himself thought that those words would actually translate to real life well it's called manifestation the junk is real i'm saying that's why i say the tongue is the tongue is a very powerful weapon it really is it's power in the tongue i'm saying you gotta be careful with what you say man what you put in the atmosphere man you, it could be good things that you put in the atmosphere or bad things. You just gotta be careful what you say. I want like a million dollars. Just putting that in the atmosphere. You know? Looks like we should have been paying a little bit more closer attention during Kobe's final game. Oh, not First Kobe. of all, before I get to that, have not any Kobe. of you guys noticed that a lot of special moments came at the free throw line for Kobe Bryant? His very first points he's ever scored of his entire illustrious career were produced at the charity stripe. Okay. His 80th, along with his 81st point of that legendary 2006 performance, right. also were made at the line. When he passed Michael Jordan, for third place on the all-time scoring list uh -huh. it once again came by a pair of free throws and what do you know the very last point he ever scored was at the stripe as well just something that i always took note of and while everybody was giving a standing ovation to kobe when he checked out of his last game nobody including me realized that those numbers would soon come into play in the near future Breaking news in this Sunday afternoon, five-time NBA champion, former Lee. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Y'all stop. Stop playing. MVP Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. Those 4.1 seconds left on the clock told a story. Just like the day when LeBron and the Lakers won this past championship. Try not to freak out when you hear this. The Lakers just won the title on October 11th, 2020. Now, what do you get when you add those numbers up? None other than 41. Stop it. Are y'all hearing this, bro? That's crazy. That is really like. I don't have all the. Comment down below. Do you think it's just a coincidence or it's like, is that like a sign? Because that's kind of crazy. Like, I didn't even think about it like that. Okay. I, I, it, it, honestly, I think it's a coincidence. I'm saying. 
But Don, we're not done yet. This coincidence, if you even want to call it that, will literally send chills up your spine. If we go back even further, right. this little short film, or if you want to say commercial, should have been seen as another red flag. In 2011, Kobe Bryant, Bruce Willis, and Kanye West teamed up with Nike for a project literally titled The Black Mamba. And in it, Kobe relentlessly tries to get his hands on West, while several deadly assassins attempt to try and stop him. Towards the end, it looks like Kanye actually was able to flee the scene, but Kobe, being the assassin he was, picks up some sort of bomb and throws it directly at the helicopter, which, as you can see, causes it to explode. Now, fast forward to the tragic event that took place on January 26th Yo, of this year. Nah. Many fans were absolutely shocked at the similarity they shared with one another. Nah. And as a result, this commercial was resurfacing everywhere on social media it was almost nah. unbelievable making many of us question were they trying to tell us something all along this is just scary that Here is scary. we have That's a crazy. pizza hut commercial about a year ago starring maria taylor that must have had a feeling about the absence of fans before it became reality <laughs> yo <laughs> when covid strikes <laughs> yo Cause this is literally what it is now. Like no cap. Like this is literally without the fans. And you can't have football without the hut. That's actually pretty insane, but this one is almost unexplainable. Like Remember that. when the Heat fans decided to head out early during Game 6 of the 2013 NBA Finals because they believed that the game was pretty much over, and then they got a big surprise when they found out that Ray Allen hit a clutch shot to tie the game, but unfortunately was not allowed back in the building? Well, I just recently came across this 2005 Toyota commercial that looks like it foreshadowed what was to come eight years later. Man, the blowout. Well, at least we beat the traffic. And the heat of time that wanna come back. <laughs> oh, yo, can you imagine, yo, you leave it at... <laughs> You leave in a game and you think that your team lost and then you hear the news like, yo, the wanna come back, it's tied up now. I'll be pissed, bro. I'll be so pissed. He will be before the bell tolls. May not be there when the story unfolds. As you just saw, Phil Jackson looked like he just got back from the future wearing yeah, that Jedi like, robe looking thing yeah. and actually kind of warned those Heat fans to stay loyal to their team possibly giving them a heads up in advance. I can't even wrap my head around just how accurate that commercial was. I find it suspicious that they chose to base it around Miami fans instead of like Houston Rockets fans because Could before be any other fans. pulled off one of the greatest comebacks of all time, their fans actually left the game prematurely as well and would go on to find out about that epic comeback on the radio in their cars on the way home. That event literally took place around the same time that this commercial came out. So it would make more sense to use that fan base as an example. But no, for some strange reason, but they no. went with the Heat fans. Odd, right? Yeah, it's always a reason by everything. I was getting stuck with my music. Nothing was ever done, nothing was ever finished. And it really gives me exactly what I need. I bet. Right? Back in 2016, State Farm teamed up with Chris Paul, Kevin I remember Lillard, this commercial. Yeah, I remember this. Jordan, Kevin Love, and Damian Lillard I know I remember to form this commercial. a fictional family called the Hoopers. They released several commercials during the NBA playoffs mm -hmm. that were a lot of fun, but they had no idea that they unknowingly predicted the following year, 2017, offseason. Well, at least to a certain extent. The first example was when the father of the family, Chris Paul, has a little talk about the birds and the bees to his teenage son, Kevin Love, changing the phrase to the hawks and the hornets. Kevin, so I see you becoming a teenager. Look at his body. Walking around acting all cavalier. I think it's about time we had that talk. 
about the Hawks and the Hornets. I'm done. No way. Dad, I'm not going to talk about that. With you. He's so little. Just a year later, I don't know if many people caught this, but the Hawks and the Hornets would actually end up doing business together by trading Dwight Howard. The Hawks sent Howard to the Hornets. Not oh. impressed? Well, this next one is pretty interesting. Okay. When Grandpa Garnett was desperately looking around for a pair of clippers so he could cut out coupons for some chicken nuggets, Kevin Love said this. You just saved a bunch of money with State Farm by combining your home and auto insurance. You know what? It is a good deal. But so is saving $2 off the amount of nipples. Oh, I love nuggets. That's crazy because the following year, before the draft, Cleveland was actually discussing a serious oh, three-way snap. trade involving Indiana and Denver that would send Kevin Love to none other than the Nuggets, while the Cavs would receive Paul George. It obviously oh, didn't happen, yeah. but if you think about it, those very words might have very well came into play and was almost spoken into existence. Literally. Now, the last one was when Baby Dame blurted this out, responding to KG's Clipper search. I need to cut these coupons, but I can't find one good Clipper in this house to cut it with. I bet you if you look hard enough, you find two good Clippers around here. Look at you looking. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait. No good Clipper. Which was just another sentence that eventually blossomed into fruition. But him wow. saying no good Clippers, it basically meant bad Clippers. As you all know, Chris Paul would be traded to the Houston Rockets in 2017, while Blake Griffin, wow. J.J. Redick, and DeAndre Jordan were all either on the trading block or were seriously considering dipping Dang, out this is crazy. Agency. They were having some real problems within the organization, and it looks like Baby Dame saw it coming. Now, sure, these might seem pretty insignificant individually on their own, right. but collectively, with them all taking place in the same it, off like season, the whole it's definitely worth talking about. That's kind of crazy. I see what you're putting down. I, I pick up what you're putting down. About. We're going to end things by taking a look at a prediction that everybody laughed at initially. When Stephen A. Smith said that his dream NBA Finals matchup would be between the Lakers and Heat back when the season was still young, we didn't really think much of it because he did only say that due to the amazing weather that those cities have. But when J.R. Smith came out and said the same thing, we should have took it more seriously. All the way back in February, yes, even before the season was suspended, J.R. Smith already had a strong feeling about what the NBA Finals would look like. Quote, Bored on this flight, let's knock out some questions. Who do you think will be in the NBA Finals? Lakers and Miami. Call me crazy, but... And that's exactly what many fans did. Nobody really believed that would be the finals because Miami's odds to get there at the beginning of the season did not look very promising. There was no way. JR was just crazy, okay. right? Well, no. He obviously turned out to be correct. And the rest is history. So did JR know something that nobody else did? I only asked that question because he then proceeded to sign with the Lakers just a few months later after that post. Yo. So maybe he knew all along. You never really know. He might have. We don't so know. So there you have it, guys. We don't Multiple know. warning signs that we were too blind to see. We don't know. Comment down below if there's another example that I might have forgot to put in this video. Also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And of course, don't forget to subscribe Swish. thanks for watching yeah that was good y'all there were some things that i didn't you know i'm saying expect especially with the whole kobe situation that was that was a little crazy that that kind of tripped me out a little bit but i mean yeah but if you enjoyed this video go ahead and like the video comment down below what you want to see me react to next and i'll see you in the next video no cap I stay on my job. Your boy be working too hard. I got dreams of living large, buying houses in expensive cars.